Hi, faithful friends. Thank you again for joining me. I'm Pastor Matt over at the South Valley Community Church Hollister campus. And uh, I'm going to be continuing in our whatever series. And uh, I've really enjoyed jumping into it. It's been interesting to look at different commentators and see what they're saying. There's really not a lot to be said about each of these, but I find that each of these whatevers has such value for us. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the passage. Uh, we're going to look at the word commendable today. Um, but if you would, read this passage along with me. It comes out of Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Um, I hope that maybe you're even uh, committing that to, to memory so that you can pull a whatever into, uh, but like out of your heart at just that right moment. Remember what the psalmist says, I've written your word on my heart, O Lord, that I might not sin against it, sin against you. Um, so as we look at the, the word today, I want to talk about commendable. Now, um, the ESV uses commendable. Uh, the King, King James Version uses um, of good report. Uh, the NIV talks about things that are uh, admirable, things you would admire. Um, the New American Standard Version of the Bible talks of, of good repute. And I, I like this idea that, that we think about those things that are of good reputation. And unlike some of the other things where we think about uh, what's going on inside us, and how we perceive those things that are pure and lovely, this one is external to us. Uh, and what I'd like to say is things that are reputable aren't necessarily those same things that are pure and lovely, those things that we've already discussed. The things that are reputable are the people around us in our lives. They are of good reputation. They are worthy to be admired. They are worthy to say good things about, commendable. And I have this idea, I think that scripture would back me up on this, that it's easy to uh, admire, to uh, say nice things about people that we like and things that they do that we like. Um, but when people get upset with uh, others, that commendable spirit leaves us. We, we go into the, the American way, which is to be critical and we start to critique things instead of admiring the goodness that comes from them. Um, truly, at the end of the day, being commendable is basically saying something nice about someone. And scripture tells us right here, Paul tells us in Philippians 4, 8, that we should say nice things about people and think about those nice things. Um, but again, our natural inclination is being critical and maybe even being snarky. Snarkiness is really a popular thing in today's culture. And I think it goes against um, this biblical mandate that we have. So um, I've got a, a little ask of you. Could you start to be uh, thoughtful of how you think of others and not just necessarily the ones that uh, are easy to love, but who has God put you in a, a circle of influence or at least have influence under somebody who might not necessarily be somebody that's worthy of respect in our modern context? And there, I think we are even still called to say nice things about people. Say that, that, that when the words come out of our mouth, it means that we've been thinking about these things. And so if we say nice things to people that we don't necessarily agree with, that it shows a level of um, introspection that Paul is calling us to and ultimately God is calling us to. So I have a little test for you. And I don't know if it's a test, but it's an, uh, something I would like you to consider doing. Um, first of all, watch your words. Are you somebody that leans to be critical primarily 
or do you lean towards that which is of good repute, those things that we see that are, are good in our life, in others' lives? What, what words do we use to show that we are people that consider those things that are commendable? Probably the thing that I would encourage you to do is, um, in this post-election season, as things are still kind of wonky with uh, people that have R's behind their names and D's behind their names, and I don't care how you roll as far as that goes, but would you consider thinking admirably about the other uh, person that has the R and the D, whether uh, you know, the, this time, uh, as far as the pre presidential election goes, um, if you have an R behind your name, look at the guy with a D behind his name. And do you look at that person admirably, commendably? You have to kind of readjust some of your thought processes. And some of you are going to be like, I can't do that. Uh, we're called to do hard things. Christians need to stand out from the culture, not right along with the culture. And if... Uh, you've got a D behind your name and uh, you look at that guy with an R behind his name and you think that he's just the worst guy in the whole world. Look at all the bad things that have happened because of him, blah, blah, blah. However it goes, could you in this season change your thinking, which is what Paul is asking us to do in these whatevers. Change your thinking about people. It's challenging. But I don't think that God gives us commands that are necessarily easy. Uh, you know, it, just like in uh, Ephesians chapter 5, Paul is giving some directions to a husband and a wife. He doesn't tell the husband to go out and respect his wife, because that's going to be something that's a natural occurrence. He tells his, the husband that he needs to go and love his spouse because that's not what naturally bubbles up out of a man. And in the same way, uh, he doesn't tell the wife to go and love the husband because that's going to be a natural thing that bubbles up out of her. He tells the wife to go and respect. Sometimes the command in Scripture is challenging. And this command in Scripture, this whatever, tells us that we need to speak and before we can even speak, we think admirably, commendably, of good repute about people. And when we change the way we think about our adversaries in that way, we have one adversary and a guy with an R behind his name and a guy with a D behind his name is not that adversary. I think that we can go in and if we can change some of the way we think and we perceive other people, and then use our words to express those things. We might be honoring God in a way that we don't even know we're possible of doing yet. You gotta start somewhere. So today, whatever is commendable, I beg you, I plead with you, go think those thoughts and say those words. Let me pray. Father in heaven, I thank you for these moments. I pray, Lord, that we would all be people that looked, sought for the commendable in everyone, the admirable in everyone, the, the things that bring about good reputations. Lord, let us think on such things. And where our minds go in other directions, Lord, forgive us. Correct us of our uh, ill-tempered ways. And Lord, thank you for the grace that you've given us. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, my friends. Merry Christmas.